40. It comes around, did it come around enough? I think he has. He kicked the goal. Not very glamorous. Rebounds to Rock. Bounce is going to be effective. Rock goes through for a goal. It has. Still not to get a free, Salmon. Oh, well played by Salmon, the Lord. Rock steps a goal. Oh, great goal. to a big play, Salmon. Over to Woods. Thompson. Hudson. Did he get into his back? Burke. About the first mistake he's made all day. Smith takes it from Lord. And Thompson marks almost in, well, we could say the forward pocket. Yeah, promising start from the Hawthorne team. I like the look of this young player, Nathan Thompson. Always been a referee's ability and also his mobility. He was the one involved in that initial contest with him and Hudson. He recovered very quickly. Good awareness there by Joel Smith to set up the well-weighted kick. Thompson to run into and take an uncontested chest and mark. Now this is a very important kick from Hawthorne's point of view for the start of the third quarter. Thompson from 35 metres. Goal umpire likes it. So do the fans and so does Thompson. It's a goal. He tunnel balled it. Conacher did well again. Hay. Paul Salmon across the face of God. Oh, that had to be spot on. Woods. Crawford. Now, this looks better for the Hawks. Crawford on the left. Down towards Anthony Rock. He's got him on centre wing. Rock drives to Harford. That's a beautifully weighted kick. He finds Crummel. Now, they've got to do something here with it, Hawthorne. Crummel kicks it across the ground. Lord was calling for it. Thompson! Oh, good play by this young up-and-coming Ruckman come utility player, Nathan Thompson. I think one play that's been pretty important, even though they haven't got a lot of the footy, is Anthony Rock. Just the positions that he's winning the ball, he's been very creative and had an opportunity to set Hawthorne up. That's mainly just to, due to his experience knowing where to run and when to receive the ball. Maybe his North Melbourne discipline days are sort of starting to come out. Well, he's kicking for his second, Nathan Thompson. He's kicked it. Well, good start for the Hawks in this third term. Maybe they can chip their way back into it a little bit. And uh, Hawthorne have taken the ascendancy. And young uh, Nathan Thompson's kicked two goals. And he is an Alex Oshenko lookalike as Woods. Tony Woods kicks towards goal. Thompson again. Bounce! That was a holding. Yes, free kick. Now who's won last goal? Decision. Harvey De Brown was that in the back of was. Oh, Barry Hall's not happy about it. But Crow. Since uh, this might be 50 metres, I think Hall's mouthed off, and this will give him a shot for goal. He will have to be brought inside the 50. Oh, it might have been another 50. 50 for sure, and another one maybe. Let me see. Now, don't tell me he's going to have the kick from here. Crowe should be way back inside the 50 here. What's going on? That wasn't 50. That that kick. If, that should be about 35, 40 metres from goal. Peter. I've got no doubt the umpire stopped where the contact was made from Tony Woods because he stood in the path of Hall going forward. Maybe that's what it is, but that's a very strange one. But they're coming over the top of Salmon because the original 50 would have been... Have a look at where he marks this. Oh, the free kick. There's the free kick. I think the 50-metre penalty was given, not because of that, because he handled the ball fairly high. All right. And now what bounced happens? at the feet of... Trent Crowdy charges forward. We don't see it by the replay, but Tony Woods was the player that got in the road. Paul met him, who was just going back to stay in the mark. I think that's the reason why the umpire didn't give it a full 50-metre penalty. May have well, may been only 40. Well, it's a strange one. If we see Salmon. He's kicked the goal. Here come the Hawks. Yeah, and that's the beauty of having experience in your team. Knowing when to push forward to be a marking player in front of goal. There's Barry Hall talking to the umpire. Uh, Receive their voice. They've got their voice back. In the first half, there was nothing. I guess Burke was between a rock and a hard place there. Snap it, goal. It's goal. Half it. He's got it. It's like a Geelong when he kicked the winning goal. Except the Hawks had no chance at half time. They're certainly back in this contest. They're pumped up. 
Paul Salmon like that. He's kicked. And Shane fumbled a lot early. Oh, that's a beautiful pass out of Harvard who marks over Thompson and has to go back. He's in trouble. Vandenberg inside the square. Looks for Harvard on the run. Could kick this one from 45. And he has done. Two in this quarter to Harvard. Hasn't the tempo of the game actually lifted? Both sides. Traffic, wasn't it? He should be looking to kick the thing. Yep, that was left as a big mistake then. Thompson, centre winger, mark taken by Chick. They've all lifted these Hawthorne players. Should, Holland on his own. Yeah, he should be kicking long now. Get it down that half forward line. Put a bit of pressure on. A pack flies. It comes to ground. It's hooked back by Angelo Lekas. It'll be a mark. Thompson again. Oh, this young fella's kicked too. And he's going to kick from 35 to 40 metres, Mick. The thing about this quarter, Pete, Paul Thorne are just taking risks at every opportunity. They're trying to invent run into their game, and that's a good policy when you're down by 44 points at the main break. They've really come out and missed the third quarter, tried to run, tried to generate some enthusiasm, and by putting some score on the board, every team member has lifted accordingly. Now Nathan Thompson for his third goal. He's a beautiful oh, kick. this looks good. He's dumped it. Now there's a whistle, it's a Hawthorne right. free kick. And Tim Elliott has gone down onto Thompson. 50 oh, metres. 50 metres. Well, it's two this quarter, and that's against him. We're careful, Peter. We might get another 50 there. Yeah. Not careful. We'll get another 50. He's got another 50. Yes. It'll be another 50. There you are. You can bet on it. We might get a... They'll be right on the goal line. He might get a third one, Mick. Yeah, well, irrespective of what happens, I'll be taking Peter Everett straight off the ground. You just can't afford undisciplined acts like that when you can still control your emotions. Spider is a terrific player, terrific competitor, but he knows to give away 100 metres when the ball's 140 metres from goal, and all of a sudden a player who's a defender has a shot on goal and should kick it. Undisciplined play. Pollock gets the goal. And would you believe it, there was only nine points the difference. What an amazing turnaround. Seven goals to one. And this the third quarter. In the first quarter, we've seen nine goals to one. And here's Everett. Everett's getting dragged from the ground, and rightfully so. Good coaching, Tim Watson. And what makes it worse, he cop cops a serve from the Hawthorne supporters. Peter Everett, you can see that's a second 50 metres being shown now. David Howlett deliberating now. And Everett's been taken off the ground by Tim Watson to the roars of delight. But there he goes. The... Lekas needs to give it to somebody. Still Lekas, that was beautifully played. Lekas at right centre wing. A mongrel cut off the boot. Thompson again, what a quarter he's having. He just should compose himself now and just assess himself, because he will get the distance, Pete, as yeah. Couchy intimated before. Big kick, it's a long dropped. kick. He is a beautiful long kick, Pete. 55 metres, he'll got to kick it, Mick. The wind has dropped, as Couchy intimated. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a trip. He's gone for a lead. He's gone for a pass. Great play. It's OK, Holland. Well, that was pinpoint, the pass. Holland led at the right time. He is a beautiful kick, isn't he, the young kid? Oh, magnificent. He's beautifully balanced for a young player. For a tall play, he can play in the rock, he can play across half back, and as we've saw today, he's pushed forward and actually been a mobile forward, key forward for the Hawthorne team. But I think the major difference in this quarter, it's been centre clearances Hawthorne six to St Kilda one, all to the efforts of Paul Salmon. So Holland for his second. He might have missed. No, he hasn't. He's got it. Three points is the margin. sit down to read this properly. Well, there are no medalists. He just gets his boot to it. Down towards half on. Everett's got it. He might kick a goal. Peter Everett, the villain. Oh, have a look at that for a goal. He's class, isn't he? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Is that a team lifter? He was the villain of the piece. He's redeemed himself. Jumper comes towards half forward. Heatley nearly. 
Take that for Rosemar. So they might be able to get two within the space of about a minute. And that would be a really good steadier right on three-quarter time. Good sides can come back, and St Kilda, they are a top side. No doubt about that. Going for their eighth win of the season. They've only got uh, two goals for the quarter. That one by Everett, and of course earlier in the quarter, Stewie Lowe got a goal from a free kick. Uh, Jason Heatley, and Peter McKenna speaks volumes about his goal-kicking ability. He hasn't kicked one today, Pete. Let's see if he can convert here. That one's home for Almaty. Oh, careful. In there and the umpire will come in and bounce it. But whatever happens, Mick, at least Hawthorne have put themselves back in a position to win the game. Oh, they certainly have. The game is winnable from Hawthorne's point of view. You just hope they can stabilise this last minute and don't allow St Kilda to go forward and kick another one. Well, a goal either way would be invaluable here. Here's uh, Lekas. He's very, very cool. Half it. Oh, that was a beautiful hand pass to Crawford. Crawford bends it back on a good lead. That's good play by Crawford to Thompson. Now yeah, they want to move. Have he's, a shot. He's brought it into Lekas. Lekas will kick from 40 metres. No, have a shot. I don't know what you're saying, Mick. The rock was on his own. Wider, but on a worse angle. So have a shot from 40. Angelo Lickers, he is a very cool customer. And gee, the Hawks want this one with 19 seconds to three-quarter time. He's a an up and under kick. It's a good-looking kick. It's a goal. The Hawks come back again. This has been an amazing quarter of footy. First of all, the Hawthorne team jumped into the game. The third quarter, second best third quarter of football against St Kilda. So a couple of records here today. Taylor, can they get another one before three-quarter time? Oh, 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 oh. What an amazing. And that is the siren, I think. So Holland will get a chance to kick his third goal, his second of the quarter. What a good mark too, Mick, wasn't it? And there's another centre bounce clearance, Pete, that we spoke about been the difference in this quarter but that is courage at its best backing back knowing the next line of players would certainly commit himself because they'd know how far the quarter had gone but Holland he's been terrific in this quarter he's had five possessions taken through telling marks and this could be a sensational shot on goal to go into the three-quarter time huddle he's got it that is an important goal for Hawthorne kicks his third and the Hawks again get to within a kick here at Waverley in the battle of the co-tenants Burke confronts the umpires and gets assistance from Lowe what an amazing turnaround of football I think I used the expression the game was over earlier but obviously the board short of the centre circle no goal scored so far in the final quarter, Young the run from the back that's a mark the mark is there at half four for Hawthorne. Yeah, the signs are certainly ominous. Holland. He's been terrific since quarter time. There's no doubt about that. He keeps finding front position, and that's a sign of a good forward. Good strength in the upper body to get Wakeland off the line of the ball coming forward. Well, two uh, much my mind players. Matthew Richardson last night with six, and Holland so far today with three. I think this weekend have answered their critics. The fish has been patched up. He will be back. And here's another interesting change. Crummel's come off the ground. Dixon, who hasn't had a lot of ground time, he's only had two possessions. He's the type of player that could bob up and kick a couple of goals in a few minutes. Holland from 50. Fourth order in front for the first time. Well, good players responding. He's got a kick. Oh, he runs around the man on the mark. He kicks from 40 metres. Here's a punch. Oh, oh, what lead. more? What more are we going to see in this game? Oh, you would not believe it. They point the margin in favour of the Hawks. Well, we wanted to go home at quarter time. Oh, not now, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think, well, neither team should lose. Walton will punch. Healy in front, Lekas. Keep your feet. It's good, Lekas. Vandenberg, I oh, just couldn't complete it. Gets it back again in the hand pass. He spent a bit of time on the bench. Vandenberg needs to sit here. Charge for... The Hawks, Collica was it, who goes at Dixon, goal. He, Dixon, he's got it! He was the player. 
He was the actual player that we thought might have been the difference coming off the interchange bench when Crummer was a minute and a half. Look at Salmon. He's like a big general out there. They have to score two goals uh, to win the game. Uh, that's uh, the Saints. Well done, half it. Oh, cleverly done. He brings it in towards full four, half forward area. Oh, Ben Dixon, a one-hander. He's a huge kick. He's a left footer. He You're doesn't right? have to hurry. He well, just take the ball in his own stride. Look and at just that. Assess his options, Pete. Well, he's he'll have to kick it 65 metres to score a goal, but at least he'll be putting it up in the goal square. And it'll be difficult now for the Saints. In fact, he's still dive. Don't do that, son. Go for the top of the square. That's the way. That's the kick. He puts it right up there to put the pressure on. Nick oh! Holland! Oh, Holland's taken a ripper. How good's he been? Oh, he's taken it 10 metres out. Look at the emotion of Anthony Rock. Magnificent, that. And Holland has really stood up when he had to be counted. He's kicked four and about to maybe kick his fifth. Yeah, a lot of people have questioned his ability, Nick Holland. A lot say that he's overrated. I don't know how they can say that. But in well, terms of... It's the general perception. Richardson Nick last Holland. night, Holland today, they've both answered him, Mick. No, no doubt. No, I don't know. No one ought to say he's overrated. He's a good player. But in the football public, a lot of people do, don't they, Pete? They do. And that's much maligned because he's a player that really works hard. So as far as I'm concerned, he's a real competitor. Well, he's about to kick his fifth and shut the gate. He's kicked it. What a performance, Hawthorne. What a performance, Nick Holland. Look at that. That's what the exhilaration of yeah. There's the siren. And that does cap one of the most remarkable Hawthorne victories I have seen. That is a remarkable victory. Just the exuberation on every player's face. And that's what you play footy for. Any competitive sport on a collective basis so you can share the memories of a victory of this hill.